so many questions. Let's answer them all. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? I'm on my dude. I can't see you's account, and we are doing a coaching session for him. So for some of you that don't have the time to come out to the live streams, we have them all saved under that live tab in YouTube. And uh, one of the things that I offer through my website is going to be a coaching session. And this is the type of thing that we do for those coaching sessions. They are individualized and personalized uh, directly to your account, so it's not going to be the same for everybody. But basically, I go through and I answer all of the questions that somebody has, as well as giving them general advice and guidance and, you know, helping them get in the right direction. A lot of times, it's very common to hop on people's accounts right around this point, level 55, uh, but we also do coaching sessions for every level in the game that you could possibly imagine. I've done coaching sessions for people who've been playing for years, and they're level 100, and I've done coachings for people who just started the game. So, this is kind of like a little bit in between. We've been playing for, let's see... We've been playing for not quite 120 days, but we're getting pretty close to that. And so this is the point where we should start having some direction and focus and be able to start clearing some content. And let me tell you, this free-to-play player has a sweet roster. And after today, and uh, after I clear up some misconceptions, I think that he is going to be well on his way. And I think you guys are going to be a little just, uh, jealous when you see this roster. He's got freaking Duchess. He's got Duchess. Okay, that is a ridiculously amazing start for... A free to play account. I literally, is there a better start than that? Like getting Duchess? Maybe like a Void Lego or something. But yeah, Duchess, incredible start. And then unfortunately, he did fall trap to the Yaga. Oh, the Yaga pull is so strong sometimes on, on these accounts, but unfortunately he's not very good. He will help you out in Faction Wars, and his kit looks good. I'm still trying to get Plarium to buff him, uh, because he is so cool, and I love him, but he's not very good, okay? In comparison, Kale is much better than Yaga, but you're going to be able to use him, so I would say that... You know, unfortunately, that's not a good six star. But if you also look at the available champions, it's like, well, who is he supposed to six star? He really does not have a lot of options. Uh, if we look in the vault, though, we have one, two, three, maybe four. Like, this is some good champions in the vault. That we can start working on. Okay, so that part is amazing. I did not know that that was going to be there. That was not part of the roster picks. That's very exciting. Okay, so let's get a baseline here for the account. This is the place that I start every single time. When we have an account around level 55, that means that we should be, in the near future, getting Arbiter. Like a, a normal... I would I would wouldn't say fast, but like a normal reasonably paced progression would be to get Arbiter around level 60. Now, if you're a more casual player and you don't play hours and hours every day, then this is going to be a little bit slower and that's definitely going to be the case here. We are certainly behind where we should be in terms of progression on our missions. Every day when you log in, you should come in here and work on these missions. And that's true for whatever you're doing, okay? After you beat Arbiter, come in here and work on the Romantu and the Marius missions now, right? And that's what I've been doing on my main account. I've been working on my Marius missions. I think that I am have to wait until the Void Iron Twins or something, but I know that that's what I'm waiting for, right? On his account... We can just go do this. Like you could have, you could have done this a long time ago. But it's kind of funny that you're 
locked on uh, a time gated mission as well but like set an alarm in your phone put a reminder in there that this weekend you need to go run the void keep right on the other ones we're at least in double digits here we probably should be higher than that um, but part of that is a knowledge of gearing, which we're going to get to. We're going to cover all of it, and I'm going to try to do it in a short, concise manner. The other thing is, there's no better time to do the stupid challenges than now. And a lot of them are stupid. Like this one, go do it, complete it. You can do it anytime. Just go through, complete all of this. The next one's stupid too. The next one's stupid too. But just do it. There are good rewards. So you get rare epic and legendary skill tomes then those books are super super important all right all right here this stuff we should be doing this as well there's an ancient shard there okay the three two level five actually doing pretty good here on the arena stuff so that part is good and the champions i mean you should be able to do this like just go do this right now for win a campaign battle using four champions of level 60 okay do it now he has oh i'm i'm hiding it now he has completed brutal campaign 252 252 and he has done some on nightmare uh 90 out of 135 and so he has done his things in campaign but unlike other games you can't just ignore campaign once you've beaten it and that's what he thought i i i get that in other games once you complete the campaign mode you're done with it okay in this game there are lots of reasons why you want to run campaign we want to run 12-3 with food right we need on this account we need to run 6-6 for the speed boots which we're going to get back to and while we're at it just put your four champions at level 60 in there go beat this they all have gear and it's not that you can't do these things it's just that there hasn't been um guidance that you need to there hasn't been a, a push to actually complete it but it's not that we can't do it we could have gone to any stage in campaign honestly but i was trying to spike some i was trying to spike some speed boots there for him didn't quite do it but it's not a, you know we can we can complete this now i'm gonna leave that there because that's one of the problems on this account as well and i covered that in a video recently where even as free to play one of the most important things is energy management we should be under the energy cap 24 hours a day as much as possible you're losing out on 400 and how much is it 420 450 energy per day and that is costing you a ridiculous amount of silver so much silver and then however much that will give you in terms of farming gear you know or whatever else you want to do in the game completing these missions and the challenges all going to be accomplished by staying under the energy cap Okay, so now the next thing before we move on, I will link at the end of the video my sparring pit video. It is the most influential thing I've given to the community, in my opinion. And he unlocked the first two spots yesterday. That's why he's low on gems, and that is awesome. He is now saving to unlock the other two spots so that he can start six starring some champions, okay? And the reason why this whole thing came about is because he saw my video on the free-to-play account, and I had more six-star champions than him. And he said, how did you do that? Because he's having a hard time six-starring champions. And that's understandable. That is very understandable. So, the main way that I six-star champions is using the sparring pit. And uh, he's going to get that going. I'll link that video at the end. You'll get to see the bearded Jedi. I actually just watched that video again yesterday to, to like refresh myself on everything that I said in there. Uh, and it's still fire. It's still fire. It, if you have any questions about the sparring pit and how good it is for your account, you need to go watch that video, especially if you've never seen it before. All right, so the next thing is going to be gearing, all right? We've talked about, you know what, let's do the Great Hall, all right? 
He is focused on one level 10. That's great. Keep going. Get one to level 10. If you want to pause and get three to five for that other mission, that is fine also. But you're going to need one Great Hall to level 10. Hyper focus on it, okay? And then after you get that Great Hall to 10, I recommend getting everything else to five. Just spread out. Accuracy, then crit damage, then resistance. I did attack percentage after that. And then HP and then defense. Not everybody's going to do that. You can just pick and choose, attack, defense, HP, your preference. I did that for me. All right, next up, drink some coffee and then be right back. The next question that this originated from was, should I pull Ancient Shards yesterday for the Progressive Chance event? And the answer for this account is, heck no. And when you're this early game, you're pulling Ancient Shards, Void Shards, Primals, and Sacreds on 2Xs only. So if we get some Sacreds from Clan Boss, which, um, just uh, spoiler alert, we're not going to because we're on hard. Okay, so we're going to try to help him get up to Nightmare Hydra with some of these tips. Nightmare Hydra, oh my goodness. Nightmare Clan Boss, sorry about that. Pulling on the 2X will do a couple of different important things. The most important thing is it will give you more epics, and the epics are the heart and soul of your account. Certainly the legendaries will shine and be insanely impactful like Duchess. But the epics are that, that bread and butter, the core of your account, and probably the most common type of champion you're going to build. That goes for Void Shards as well, and Sacreds. We, ha we need to prioritize Primals on the 2X as well, but at this current time, we don't know how often that's going to be. Last but not least, if we can start saving resources like silver and gems, then that way maybe we can complete a fusion, okay? But this is the exact type of account that our new login champion is going to be good on. Look at this account and tell me he doesn't need a healer. He's going to six-star this girl and use her all the time. So if you haven't seen my video on her, she is going to start. Uh, it's not in here. It will be in the news section. This. Uh, it's in here. <laughs> the sneak peek. Adolin. I don't know where it's going to say the information that I'm looking for. But Adolin, whenever she starts. Is that today? It's going to start today. Um, she's going to be essential for this account. And this is why I like her. Should she be better for everyone else? Yes, absolutely. Should they buff her? Yes, absolutely. But for an account like this, so good. So good. She's going to be amazing, okay? And probably not his next six star. Uh, he's going to six star somebody else next. But she'll be the six star after that. And I'm hoping he can save enough resources to do this next fusion. So I'm going to recommend saving most or all of the silver outside of leveling up some speed boots and all gems after he unlocks the sparring pit to try to get the next fusion. If not, then the one after that, okay? But uh, until then, let's talk about the gearing and then wrap up the video and I'll double check his questions that he sent me as well. All right, so here we go. Kale. Kale is in the starter gear, which is perfect. So this build is probably going to be the best build on the account. We do have some accuracy, but we also have some unrolled gear. Anytime you are using a champion, okay, we should definitely get this accuracy banner on here as well. Uh, and we should try to get this accuracy chest off of there. So what ideally we want is either something defensive or something offensive, okay? And I think that here is one of the biggest mistakes as well, right? Outside of the first couple of days, we should not be using one to three star gear. We have 164 
pieces of one to three star gear. We have to get rid of it today immediately. I don't care what set it's from. Let me double check that I'm allowed to do that. All right, I think Plarium's going to kick me off for server maintenance. But yes, all of the one through three star gear, if you have this on your account, I literally don't care what level you are. I don't care what level you are, sell it. Okay, the next thing we should try to do is get rid of all of our four star gear. At minimum, we should be able to get rid of the common and uncommon four star gear that is not rolled. Let me make sure these aren't speed boots. Because if they're speed boots, then we would keep them. Um, at least part of the time. Now, these ones that are rolled, I'm not going to keep. Okay. And last but not least. Last but not least. This is the most important gear tip that I can give you. HP, attack, defense. This gear is unusable. It needs sold immediately, regardless of your level. I really don't even care what level you are. You need to sell it. You need to sell it immediately, okay? Let's start with the four star, that's automatic. I'm going to leave any level 16 gear that is already committed to, because he can throw it on a faction. The boots are too bad. I don't know. He could throw it on a random faction war champion and use it for now. But yes, we need to get rid of it. It's holding you back. And after this, we're not going to have a lot of gear left. We're not. Okay? But that's okay because we're not using gear that is bad for us. Okay? We're not using gear that is bad for us. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, so let's sell all of this, and then I'm going to run into the server maintenance, I think. If it has, if it is speed with substats of speed, then you could consider it. And if it is Slayer gear, then you could use Chaos or on it. Okay, how much gear does that leave us? Oh, 370. That's not bad. Uh, I would prefer to not use the common and uncommon... Five star gear or six star gear, but at this point we gotta take what we can get. All right, now I think I should be able to stay on the account as long as I'll, I don't make any changes. Okay, so taking a look at some of the builds on his account, we can tell that they are very slow, and even with speed boots, interesting. I did not expect that to be the case. Let's see how much flats that gear is equipped. Not that much. Okay, good. Taragi that we're looking at here has flat stat gloves. We need to get rid of those as soon as possible. Um, you know, a lot of this other stuff, this is the reason why we're not being able to complete content. Okay, this is the reason. All right. Number one, speed boots. We have attack percentage boots on Rathalos. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, I don't mind that. Well, I don't mind that. But then we have a flat defense chest, and we have crit rate gloves, but they're not the best. So that is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That is actually reasonable, and then we have the speed rolls here. The difference is, number one, we need to, whatever these five star pieces are, we need the higher star gear and accessories immediately immediately now if i try to equip this i'm gonna get kicked off so i'm not gonna equip anything but i can show you what it would be like okay so i would put this on here regardless of what the stats are and w whatever amulet we have and i would roll those both to 12 okay now after that on the gear side of things we need speed boots if at all possible and we do have some options so we have these ones we have these ones, which are not actually that bad for, for four-star boots. Those are not that bad. We have these ones. Oh, am I blocking all of this? I mean, not really, but let, let me go ahead and scoot myself over. And then that way um, we can... Sorry about that. I probably won't have time to edit that out a little bit. But there you go. You can see a little bit better. All right. Then on Rathalos, we really want an attack percentage chest. Okay, 
Now, we have him awakened, so we want Brimstone unless somebody else has Brimstone. Um, I guess I should have checked equipped also. Duchess has an attack percentage chest. We don't want that. Uh, I would probably do this one or this one. It just depends. If we're trying to keep him in Relentless, I would do that one. And then eventually we're going to get somebody into crit damage gloves. I don't think we really have that as an option right now. But we do have these ones, which are not bad. So we could do that. But I think more than likely we're going to still be in crit rate gloves. But once we get your team set up, I guess those are probably the best ones. Maybe the speed ones, because they have attack percentage and defense. I don't know. I would at minimum level those up to... Uh, I would at minimum level them up to 16, so I don't know. And then on the top row, speed and crit rate would be ideal, but again, I don't know if we have the gear to be able to do something like that. Rathlos, weapon, very nice. And then let's just go here. And would we be taking this off of Kale and lowering his speed? I don't know. We've already gotten him up to 162 speed, which is great. But then if we do that, I don't know. I would probably just leave that and then level the gloves up to get the rest of the crit rate that we're looking for. Uh, maybe we could find a helmet for him in Relentless that has crit rate. Uh, so if you need additional crit rate, you can use this helmet. Uh... And I think that that would be fine. I don't think we're going to be able to get accuracy in this build, especially if we're staying with Relentless. But yeah, I think that this is a much better build. We have 50 more speed. No, not really. 30 more speed. And we would be able to get to 100% crit rate. We'll have much better stats. Will our attack be lower? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So this is the type of thing we need to start thinking about. The vast majority of the time, your boots that have percentage stats are great later in the game, and they're very hard to use earlier in the game. It's not that these are bad. It's just hard to get the stats you're looking for if you don't have speed on the boots. Like, this is nice having a little bit more attack, but the attack doesn't matter if we don't take turns, okay? Now, as far as your support champions, yeah, you're going to want your speed boots on them. Also, I would say I would want my fastest speed boots on her, which I don't know what those are. I guess we don't have any six-star boots yet, so I guess we're sticking with that. I don't really like it. And then on Duchess, you need HP or defense with speed. I suppose you could do resistance. Um, but yeah, uh, we certainly do not want attack percentage on her. Maybe we have Swift Parry here. Uh, and then same thing with the gloves. Same thing with the gloves. We do not have a good option here. Maybe this one. Okay, and then on all of your other gear... You want to look for speed and maybe something else, okay? So she's got crit stats, I guess. I don't know the purpose of that, and I don't know the purpose of that. I would be putting this one, and then looking at my gear down here for Righteous. That is not a very good helmet. That is not a very good weapon. But that might be the best that we can do. <laughs> Getting a little bit of resistance goes a long way. Okay, let's do both of those. And one of the main reasons why we want to do that is to match our sets. So that is a very good way to do it. But obviously you're not going to be able to do that every time. Uh, putting Immortal or Regen on her is great. Later on, Stone Skin. Um, you might just want to go Broken Sets. Broken Sets can get you a long way also. Shield Set on her could be good as well. But I think for now, yeah, we could try this one. Yeah, I like that. 
So that would put her at 194. And looking at our resistance, it is not important at all. So I think what I would do is I would just put the fastest helmet that we have. That is Kale's. I don't want to take that. And the second fastest helmet is Cruel. So maybe we don't care about a fast helmet at all. And we just want we just want the tankiest helmet, right? So that could be another option also. So let's forget about speed and maybe we go HP and defense and use something like this. Or we could put this helmet on there and then lose a lot of speed. Yeah, I'm not sure. There doesn't really seem to be a good helmet. I'll probably just stick with that one. And then once you level this up, that is going, you know, once you level both of these up to 12 at minimum, then you're going to have a lot more tanky stats and you're going to be doing a lot more in clan boss. Being that this is your only ring, let me double check that's true. Being that this is your only ring, I would just put it on her. Like, it's going to help. Just level it up to 8 or 12. And then get her ascended so that you can put some kind of, you know, amulet. Uh, early game, the accessories are difficult, okay? So what does this build do differently? It adds over 10,000 HP and it adds more speed. It adds a little bit of resistance, okay? So that's two different ways, two different types of gearing early game. And then with your other champions who need accuracy, um... Like, just put, put these put these accessories on your champions, my dude. Everybody needs accessories. Everybody. And uh, whatever you have available is better than nothing. And if you put something on there, then you're going to be able to improve your stats at least a little bit. Okay? Any champion that you want to use, they should have some levels on their gear as well. So, like, Hikatoon... I would probably just destroy all this gear instead of unequipping it. And then come in here and use some of this gear that you have rolled up and equip her. And that's true of every single champion. All of them. Like, even your randos in here. Like, this one and two star gear, destroy it. Equip something better so you can make progress in faction wars. And start leveling up those faction war champions. It is time now to start building your faction war teams okay you got an ancient shard there my dude there you go uh we have zero stars on dwarves it's time to start putting a team together we don't have any dwarves okay but we should start saving them right uh what about knights rev over here we have none oh we do pestilus and him they can get you some stars and get these keys starting to move right we need to start that immediately as well. Okay, let me double check and make sure that's all of the things, but I think that it is, all right? What questions do you have about this account? What did I miss? What would you have told him to do? And last but not least, next six star is going to be my dude, Duck the Pierced. Duck the Pierced is going to be ridiculous. Okay, not last but not least. Uh, and then Nagorio probably after that. And then the law, the new login champion. I think that she's going to be great at 50 for a while, but she's going to go in the clan boss team. So pros and cons. Let's go. Let's go check out that clan boss team. And this is going to be the team that you run in the majority of your dungeons. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's actually go to the clan boss section and see what we're doing. Okay. So with those changes that we made, we should be able to start being successful in clan boss, okay? More accuracy on Taragi, accuracy and HP and speed. Duchess needs to be in the lead, right? Use the correct aura and take Yaga out immediately. The person that I would put in here is going to be Duck the Pierced, okay? Until you have him, I would put your War Maiden in there, but I think she needs geared, so I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, but decrease defense, weaken, these kind of debuffs are going to be essential to your success, right? So, uh, we can also, I'm very confused about this blessing here. 
we can also, on Rathalos, we should change from Faultless Defense to Brimstone. All right? Ooh, geez, that's going to take a while. Okay, don't worry about it for now, but eventually, maybe put him in Brimstone. That will help if you're going to put Accuracy on him. If not, then he should be probably having Soul Reap would be a lot better. I think having Soul Reap would be a lot better. Faultless Defense just doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. It, he's not going to be under increased defense, I don't think, anywhere on your account. So I don't know what the purpose of that is. Faultless Defense on him. But be careful with your blessings, right? So this is the team. And then once you get Duck to Pierce leveled up, this is the team you're going to use in Dragon. This is the team you're going to use in Ice Golem. This is the team you're going to use in Arena. Actually, let's talk about Arena separately real quick. Okay, I really like this team, actually. Uh, this is a very intelligent, good team. I think that it's possible that we take out all of these champions eventually, but for now, it's good. Like, Nagorio, he's going to do a lot more damage, okay? He's great for Arena. Once you level up Duck the Pierced, he's going to go in there. And then I might even put Hykatoon in here as a speed booster. I think that that could really serve you well. These are both the same, right? You go Duchess into Hykatoon, decrease defense, and then kill them, right? Um, and you could start doing this right now with your... Um, War Maiden, and then whoever has better crit stats, probably Rathalos. Like, I would probably put in there her, but if you want to keep the same kind of setup as you have in there, that's fine too, okay? So the arena stuff, that was good. Good idea. Duchess, hard carry. <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, consider liking the video and putting a comment down below so that this video can get pushed to more players. I think that these are all of the tips in one video that you need to succeed in this game, and I'm going to try to save this in an important playlist so that I can share it with other people. If you have your questions, I'll try to answer every single question in the comment section so that other people can check there for their questions as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully now you're a subscriber of the channel and I will link that sparring pit video for you to follow up with after this one as well. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.